The McCanns may be back home, but for now, their lives in Rothley are far from normal. After an emotional day leaving Portugal without Madeline, they eventually returned to Leicestershire for the sake of their two other children, Sean and Amelie. It was clearly a difficult decision. Whilst it's heartbreaking to return to the UK without Madeline, it does not mean we're giving up our search for her. As parents, we cannot give up on our daughter until we know what has happened. We have played no part in the disappearance of our lovely daughter, Madeline. How difficult was it to come back, Jerry? They were, of course, followed home by the world's media and well-wishers, like Tracy Warburton from Birmingham. She felt compelled to come to Rothley to show her continued support for Kate and Jerry McCann. And hopefully now the British authorities might get a bit more involved now that they're back here. Um, I know they're, they're saying that um, people are, are turning against them. People aren't turning against them. You know, the support now, I think, is even greater that we know they're at the mercy and at the risk of the Portuguese police. And as the McCanns try to cope with being home without Madeline, they may have to leave at any time. This week, the Portuguese prosecutor could start to consider the evidence. He or the police could call the McCanns back at any time. If needed, they could come before a judge and be charged. And their status as formal suspects can last for up to eight months under Portuguese law. One of the main reasons the McCanns say they've come home is to try to get back to some kind of normality. But even when the media interest in this story wanes again, they'll still be met with daily reminders that they may be home, but Madeline is still missing. Darren Little, Sky News, Rothley in Leicestershire.